Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So question number two. Okay. Uh, well, let's recap. Okay. Ken says, having multiple people you consider as soulmates give indication that a person is confused about what they want in their life. So I feel multiple soulmates is BS. Uh, I'm going to address that real quick. I think, I think based off the, the love soulmate, I didn't realize like soulmate could be in the form of like friendship and people, you, you know, I thought it was just more romantically like, oh my God, this is the person God created for me. Um, I do feel like there are multiples, all right? Because there's different stages in your life. Like, you know, you got your, your, your puppy love, your high school sweetheart. Then you got your college sweetheart. And then when you're grown, then you got the person who, nine times out of 10, that's the person who you end up being with. So I, this is just my number. It's not written in stone, but I feel like you could possibly have three soulmates, possibly, you know. I'm going to tell you why I disagree real quick. And I, I don't want to tell you. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're good. I read somewhere that technically, like, I don't know if it's statistically, I don't know if that's the right word, but technically you have seven soulmates in this world. Seven? You have seven soulmates in this world, and you also have seven people that look just like you in the world. Oh, 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 I know it. I know the, uh, I know there's people that look like you, because let me tell you something. I don't know who this fat brown skin girl is that sing in a church. But let me tell you something. People think I sing in some church. I don't know who this this lady is. I want to meet whoever. It is I know exactly who like. you're talking about. She's my Facebook friend. But somebody they say I look like somebody in church because I I never forget I was in um Piglu uh, uh was it Piglu Wiggly Piglu Wiggly before it became like IG and all this other stuff. And I was down the aisle getting some uh something some barbecue sauce something. and somebody some old lady touched. She said, "Baby." You you did that Sunday. I was like, did what? <laughs> I did what? <laughs> but I don't know. It's some girl that looked like me. That I know sick. exactly who it is. I know exactly who you're talking about. She's from she's from Florence. I know exactly who you're talking about. Okay, well then let me know yeah. who she is. So I can. I, I got bet you. It's, I I'll bet it's going to be like, I don't look like that girl. Yeah. I got you. Can I? I want to address Ken real quick. I, I know we gotta like go. My- but um, but yeah, you look like he her. said. He said, how can you? How can you build with someone thinking about somebody else? So you missed the whole point of what we said. We literally, literally said, Ken, this uh, a soulmate is our, our belief. Me and Courtney's belief is a soulmate does not necessarily have to be a romantic partner. A soulmate is not somebody you have to build with. A soulmate is somebody you connect with. It has nothing to do with build. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I said that I believe I've had, I'm not trying to, I'm not, no offense to anybody on this podcast who's watching, who is of the homosexual orientation. I'm not homosexual. I'm not trying to build with my homeboys, but I consider him a soulmate because he's been with me through certain experiences that nobody, that other people may not be able to handle. You know what I'm saying? We connect on a different level than what I, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, that's I what. Get, I get what you're saying now, because like yeah. I said, y'all just introduced me to something, a, a whole new definition of soulmate you know um so now it's making me think like just using my personal life uh it's making me think like one of my ex you know i was like f d n you know but that nigga you know but um uh, we we have a connection you know and i thought because we broke up and we didn't get married or nothing like that i was like oh clearly he wasn't the one but now thinking to what you two are saying like we, I guess we were so because we do have a, a connection and stuff, you know. Call me, um, but you know, I don't know, but call me, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all I want to put out there. That, all right, so I don't want to spend too much time on that because I know right. everybody got stuff to do. All right, so all right, let's go on to the second one. Um, what are the rules slash boundaries for the opposite sex friends if you're in a relationship? Meaning, uh, what can't they do anymore since you're not single or what rules you have for your own your partner's friends um uh for example uh the reason why this question kind of came up is because in my dating phase uh, a guy that i was confer- conversing with he said that if we move in together that my my male friends could not come over to my house to our home without him being there is that control? Do y'all consider that control? Or you see, like, oh, okay, well, I get where he's coming from. Well, y'all ain't even in relationships, but uh, Jacqueline, how do you feel about that? What, what? I don't mean I don't have an opinion. I mean, I don't. 
But I would rather hear this from Jacqueline and hear what her boundaries are since she is married. Right, right. right. Um, yeah, I okay. Well, um, I wouldn't, well, matter, it would have to be, I would have to say, like, it would be a more of a respect thing. Like, I don't have male friends. Oh, okay. And my husband, he has female friends, but I'm okay with that. I don't care because I know my husband and I know, you know what I mean? That's fine. But, I mean, I really don't have any rules for him. I mean, because it's, it's all about respect when it comes down to comes down to it so basically you're saying i'm not going to implement any rules but you know that like just don't he, you know what you grown like don't i know and he knows so you right. know what I mean? so you know what i mean okay so then for me i feel i feel the same way you know what i'm saying it's i don't me personally i don't have a rule set for anybody that I'm in a relationship with because if I have to set rules that means I'm at I think you're going to disrespect me in the person in the first place you get what I'm saying um for me it's more it's more about trust you know and respect like like uh like the uh Miss Jacqueline said you know okay. just don't do nothing to disrespect me maybe look stupid um right. now I do I do uh I set boundaries for female friends when I'm in a relationship you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. Don't, don't so you had a conversation with them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, because I I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not gonna be rude and just like, oh, I get in a relationship, so let me just act different. You know what I'm saying? I'm at least gonna be like, okay, don't call me at the 10 o'clock. Don't oh. show up after a certain time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like pop like pop ups. Don't pop ups, you know, things of that nature. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna hang out. With my lady comp like company, if she oh, wants so to be there. Oh, well, that's different. Like, so no more one on ones. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. Unless, unless. Here's my thing. It's not about what she does. It's about what I do. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like I expect my woman to check me. If I'm the one that's a, entertaining a certain situation, I I'm a photographer. There's plenty of women that want their pictures taken. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let her, my lady know. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm going to be. You're welcome to come. Or if you trust me, you don't got nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Same thing for her. You know, she can do still what she wants to do as long as she respects me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to make to make sure that the only, the only thing that's important for me is her comfortability. So if you don't necessarily feel comfortable with me doing a photo shoot with a lady by herself, you can come on. I'm still trying to make that money. So you exactly. can come. I, yeah, and, like you gonna have to reevaluate re that kind of that relationship if she's trying to prevent you from making money right. out from her insecurity. Exactly. You know? Exactly. 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 Yeah, I, so, I would hope nobody wouldn't do that. But then again, I'll be like, what kind of it has been a problem. Shoot? It has been a problem. Oh no, I mean it, but it, but you're it, gonna know everything. You're gonna see the pictures. You gonna I'm gonna be with you while I'm editing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't do that crazy stuff anyway. So it's like, like you're gonna know. Cute. Yeah, no, you know what I'm in saying? In a bathroom with milk covering your nipples. Like. No, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, that's just what it is for me. Like, I don't set no, I set boundaries for my female friends. I don't set boundaries for my relationship because I expect you to respect me just like I'm gonna respect you. Well, I'm gonna play devil's advocate real quick. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I mean, this is just realistic. I mean, because <laughs> I'm, I'm realistically, I'm gonna say something that a female friend would say, which is, Cause you got me on that. We can't do lunch or whatever by ourselves anymore. Cause I would personally say the fuck like, Oh, now you got with this little lace front chick and now you acting all stank. Boy, we're going to Chick-fil-A. Like bring and, your ass on, you know, and you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna be like, look, either you respect me as a friend or that we can't have this friendship because now here's the thing now if it's new if the relationship is new i'm talking about serious relationship now i'm getting serious with this girl but even if it's, it's like, serious like we still can't go to like okay okay you're on the podcast right so i'm like okay daniel uh i'm in florence meet me such and such like we're gonna sit down and talk you know like we can't do that by ourselves like that's still that's still business though oh, okay we still we still talking business though ain't nothing gonna ain't nothing gonna keep me from business and if she she gonna have to understand that as well. But like I said, her comfortability, if she's uncomfortable with that, it's gonna be Ashley. Uh, I just wanna let you know I would I would love to bring my lady along, 
You know what I'm saying? We don't have to, like you know. Them. No. It don't really matter if you don't like them, because I mean, we do. We talking business. No. You can hate me and still need me. You know what I'm saying? I don't so, like them. <laughs> but that's just it's just a respect thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just a respect thing. And if you can't respect that as my friend and say, we going to Chick Fil A, I don't care what you got to say, then you're not really my friend. Uh-uh, you don't, want don't my do that. Happiness. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know what no, I'm saying? I am your friend. But don't you still gonna you still what what's most important? In, well, I get. The most important thing for me in friendship is your happiness. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, or or my my lady's happiness or or their happiness. So if I'm your if if I'm your friend and you get in a relationship, right? And he doesn't feel comfortable with me and me coming to your house to fix your computer. You know I'm a nerd. I come to your house <laughs> to fix your computer and he's like, I'll, like, you I'll, know I'll pay Daniel for Geek it. Squad? Come on, yeah, you know Daniel he'll Geek be like, Squad. he'll be like, nah, I want somebody else. I you know, I don't really trust him, just that and the third. You're gonna be like, Daniel. Yeah, no. Listen, listen, <laughs> I've I've had where uh, my male opposite friends, like uh guys were like, oh no, he I'm like, he's gay, calm down, you know. Like, Even that don't work no more sometimes. Uh, so, you know what? Sometimes it don't. Well, if it honestly, with my situation, it does more more it does. The only thing is they get disrespectful, which they be like, oh, I ain't gonna be around. No. I'm like, now that's where I draw the line. I'm like, well, if you can't handle that, then we don't need to be together because I got homosexual friends and I got homosexual family members and it's not, I'm not yeah. going to allow you to disrespect. Like, cause when, even when I'm just talking on the phone and a person uses the F word or, you know, I don't even like use when black people use the C word, you know, just don't use the C word. I'd rather you use, oh, you know, I had a slow moment. Yeah. I had a slow yeah, moment. I'm like, I'd rather you know say saltine than the C word, you know, our, our mayo, miracle whip, call them miracle whip, our health. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Yeah. But, all right, uh, Courtney, how do you feel about it? Rules in, uh, uh, for your opposite sex, your partner. It's pretty much the same thing that Jacqueline was said. It's basically down to respect. I wouldn't have any rules besides what's already to be expected. Like, don't shoot on me. Don't sit there and entertain, you know, conversations like that. Like, it's just, I think it's common sense of, like, what's supposed to be those boundaries. So I, would, I don't think I would have to sit there and be like, this is what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> So like at, right. yeah, it's just common right. sense. Cause if I got to say all you're that, you're still being a trial. What you talk about that? I'm like, right, right, all right, all right. So um, basically, I think everyone is saying um, we shouldn't have to implement any rules in our relationship for your opposite sex friends. Use your common sense, you know. We just said let her in. She's gonna call in. Okay. All right. Go ahead, uh, Whitney. Come on in, Whitney. 